The Box and Whisker Plot Rip by Caitlin Garvey and Kelsey Garvey. A box and whisker plot represents some data. We'll show you how it's done. Draw it out on paper. The maximum, the minimum, Q1 and 3. Each represent a fourth of the data you see. The minimum is the lowest number. The maximum, that's the highest number. The median is the middle number. If you don't put them in order first, you're dumb and dumber. So we gotta grab the data first to make a plot. We have seven folks with siblings, so let's see what we got. Kate's, Kate's got four. Eli's got, got one. Karen's got one. Craig's got, got three. Johnny's got, Johnny's got two. Ben's got four. Now we have our data, so what do we do? We, we put, put it in a order to get our answers right. And now with the max minimum, we're clearly inside. No five, no one, no four, no one, no four, no two. We, we got, got a three. three. Now for the quartiles. Oh, let's see. Q1 is the median of the lower half. Q3 is the median of the upper half. No three, no one. It's one and two. 1.5 is the average of you. No three, no five. It's four and four. Well, the average of four and four is four. four. Next things next, we plot our fines, all as dots on a number line. Dot one, dot two, draw a line. Dot four, dot five, draw, draw a line. line. Dot two, dot four, draw a line. Oh yeah, man, Bo box is fine. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing to know is the IQR. Interquartile range only goes so far. In, In fact, fact, it's Q3, Q3 minus, minus Q1. One. Now we got our plot, and folks, we're done! That's our wrap. Oh. <sighs>